Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use a tool that will help you summarize content from large documents that sometimes can have over a million words in them in a matter of seconds. And honestly, this tool is going to be an absolute game changer for anyone who has to handle large documents, articles, textbooks, or research papers. And what it can do with the content is absolutely unbelievable. So what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you how you can upload that entire textbook, get the summary of the whole book, get insights on each chapter, and even get it to explain the visual figures within the text. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is search for Google AI Studio, and you can do that in Google. And I'll also leave you the link in the description below. And then once you have that page, then you need to sign into Google AI Studio. And once you've signed in, this is the interface that you're going to see. So you're going to see it looks a little bit different than maybe some of the other AI models that we're used to, but it's very easy to use. So the first thing you can see here on the left hand side is the option to create a new prompt. And here on the right hand side is where we have the models that we can use. So the model that we're going to be actually using today is this one here, which says Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental. I've selected that model here. And now this is the important part that I want you to notice. It says token count. You will see that here you've got zero out of two million. So basically what a token is, it's just a unit of data that's used by AI. And one token usually equals approximately three quarters of a word. So just so we know the power of this model is that two million tokens can represent about 1.5 million words. And obviously there's characters and punctuations as well that we need to take into consideration, but you can just imagine how much processing power this model has. So just to give a bit of context as well, so ChatGPT 4.0 can handle 128,000 tokens and Claude 3.5 Sonic can handle 200,000 tokens. Gemini Pro can handle up to 1.5 million words. And this is just enough to handle even the largest textbooks. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is come to where it has the plus sign over here. And we're going to have to upload the document that we want to our drive. So I'm going to just choose browse for my document. And once it's uploaded, it will start extracting the file. And this might take a little bit of time, but once it's extracted it, it will tell us the number of tokens. So, so this file is actually made up of more than a million tokens. So now that we've got the file and it's been extracted, the next thing we need to do is enter our prompt. So I'm just going to add here, summarize the entire book in detail, and I'm going to run that. And again, you'll see that it takes a little bit of time for the model to actually come back with the response. But we have to realize that this is a massive book that we're talking about, and it needs time to actually go through and read the entire document. OK, so let's look at the output. Now, first thing we can see is that it's taken 145 seconds for it actually to extract the response. And if we look at the response that it's given us, the summary of the entire document, we can see it's generated a can organized summary. And this isn't just a brief overview. It's actually gone into every single chapter and given us a summary of that chapter. Now I did ask it to summarize the entire book in detail. You can ask it for a much briefer summary than that if you wanted, but I just wanted to show you how you can actually extract detailed information from every section in that textbook. You can see that it starts off with a general overview of what the book is about and then it takes us through part one and then it tells us for every single chapter what the gist of that chapter is so we've got chapter two it tells us who the authors of that chapter the title of the chapter and then the main argument in that chapter and then it goes on to do the same thing with chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter six and then it goes on to the next part of the book and then it just gives me a brief overview of what this part of the book focuses on. And then not only that, but it actually it says compares and contrasts of different perspectives. It gives me the main argument of that chapter as well, and does the same for 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then the same for part three of the book. And then the overview summary again for these chapters, and the same for part four, and the same for part five. And then just a concluding overall part in terms of what the book is trying to achieve. I just want to stop here for a minute and reflect on how amazing this is. Can you imagine if you want to incorporate a number of books in your research or assignments or papers and how unbelievable this tool can be in that in literally a few minutes we have an entire summary of the main book and then we can go deeper as I'll show you now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one specific chapter and I'm going to ask it to give me more information. So I'm just going to say summarize chapter two. 
Okay, and now it's given us the response and you can see that it's again taken about 81 seconds and then it's given us that top view sentence of what the chapter is about. So it emphasizes the importance of understanding organizations as open systems. And then it tells us what the key takeaways. And it's very organized in the way it produces the output. And then it provides us with a conclusion to the chapter. So for this next prompt, I want to show you how you can actually use this model to help you focus into key areas in specific chapters. So I've just added a prompt here that says, what are the key areas I should focus on in chapter 17 and I'm going to run that. Okay, now we can see the response. Again, it gives us that top level summary of what this chapter explores. And then it tells us here are the key areas to focus on for this chapter. And then it numbers these different points. And then it gives us that simple summary of what that point is about. And again, the uh, sub points are always there for us to focus on. Okay, and you'll notice here that I've specifically asked it to extract some information from chapter 17. And the reason I've done this, if I go back to the original textbook, you'll see that chapter 17 is on page 418 of the textbook. And that's roughly midway of the textbook. And what we know with these large language models is that they sometimes have trouble in analyzing that middle area of the context window. Sometimes it slips or they can hallucinate different parts of that text. But what you'll find is with this model, it's come back with the exact response with very accurate information and a lot of detail showing us the strength of this model. And now for the final prompt, I'm going to show you how amazing this model is in actually processing visual images as well. I'm just going to put a prompt here that says explain figure 22.2. Okay, so it's come back now with the response. But for you to appreciate the power of what it's actually just done right now, I want to take you back to the textbook and I want to actually show you what figure 22.2 looks like. Now, if you notice in the prompt, I only said explain figure 22.2. So what it's done is actually gone through the entire document. It's found figure 22.2, which is on page 619 somewhere in the middle of that document, it's taken this visual image that is really quite complicated and then it's processed it and it's come back with the response. So now let's look at the response and you can see it says figure 22.2 titled the research origins of the videotape recorder. If we go back here, we can see that this is exactly the name of the visual image that it's actually processed. And then it tells us what the key idea that it's highlighting is. And then it tells us here's the breakdown of the figure. And then it's taken the timeline. So it's taken this timeline is here on the side and explains um, the different parts of the timeline, which is from 1880 to 1960. And then it tells us what happened during that time. And it tells us the three types of research that exist in that diagram. And it actually breaks them down into several points. And then it tells us the uh, findings of that figure in that it visually depicts how several research streams are represented. And then it tells us about the key innovations. Not only that, but then it gives us an overall uh, assessment of what the key insights of that visual is, and then the findings. As you can see, I'm using Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental Model in Google's AI Studio is an absolute game changer for anyone looking to summarize and extract information from large documents, whether they're textbooks, uh, reports. I do hope you give it a go, and I hope that it transforms the way you do your research and it streamlines your process, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.